up everybody welcome back to alisa doing it my way i'm your girl alisa y'all can already see by the title what we're going to talk about this evening i just had to come up here and give my two cents about the whole situation first of all how y'all doing y'all happy thursday tomorrow is friday got a three-day weekend well i guess some of us have a three-day weekend because some people still have to work on the fourth of july so no three-day weekend for you guys but how is everybody i'm feeling a little better y'all um i did go to the doctor and i have a sinus infection so i'm on antibiotics right now um, me and my son both have sinus infections as well as the grandkids. That's what they had, um, sinus infections. Um, in fact, we got sick from them. So everybody's on antibiotics and stuff like that. And I'm feeling, um, okay. Um, so let's jump right into it, y'all. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen the viral, the TikTok that went viral of the young lady recording one of her baby daddies. I hate that word. Recording one of her baby daddies bringing food for his child. I believe she has like four or five kids. I want to say five kids. And this particular man has only one child with her so when he showed up he brought one happy meal with him so everybody's been going back and forth on that giving their two cents all the memes have come out aka my thumbnail i don't know which one i'm gonna use now I have a couple of them, but um, everybody's been talking about that. Everybody's been um, joking, saying that, um, do we expect Mariah Carey to buy all Nick Cannon's food, kids' food? And everybody's talking about Kiki White or her kids. But anyway, y'all, <clears throat> I'm going to give my two cents in it on it and i want you guys to chime in as well because it is like a touchy subject okay so the baby's daddy came over and she's recording him bringing one mcdonald's happy meal for his son and she's yelling at him saying that um he knows that she has more children and why would he just show up with just this one happy meal? And of course he proceeds to tell her that those are not his kids and he's not responsible for the rest of those children. My daughter said that she thinks the, the, the TikTok is actually fake. Um, she doesn't think that particular girl has more than one child, but I don't know. I'm just going off of what we seen, what was put out there. Okay, so how do you guys feel about that? Do you feel he was wrong for not bringing food for the other children? Do you feel it was his responsibility to bring food for those other children? I feel like, and it was said that he always used to bring food for those other kids. So I'm not sure if he did this while they were together. Oh, and I forgot to mention they're not together anymore. So he shows up with just the one Happy Meal. Now, had he had been living in the house with them, that was totally wrong. But I still feel like it was wrong for him on some type of level. Um... Like a friend of mine was saying, we only see like what they put on camera. And if he used to bring these kids food and then just all of a sudden stop, maybe he's mad at her for some reason is like, well, I'm going to show you better than I can tell you and just bring food for his child. I feel 
that is morally wrong. It was morally wrong. Um, that's probably why my ass is broke right now because um, my daughter keeps a lot of extra kids around her house for whatever reason. And when I go, I don't just bring McDonald's or Burger King for my grandchildren if I know that there are other kids there. But like I said, maybe that's why my ass is broke now. But still, I feel that a child is a child. And the child, the children are not at fault. And me, I would not be able to sleep. I just couldn't do it. Like, just bringing food for one of them, knowing that the rest were hungry. Yeah, it's not his responsibility to, but it's food. You know what I'm saying? It's not like she's saying, you know, the children need sneakers and stuff like that. And bad at him because he brought one pair of sneakers it was a happy meal and yeah maybe he didn't have money i don't know for the rest of the kids in that case maybe i would have went to like little caesars or something and brought a pizza or something like that you know to give it to the rest of them it's just me i wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing that um, some kids were hungry and I could have done something about it, even if it wasn't much. You know what I'm saying? Um, women and men, please chime in. What is your opinion on this matter? Um, also, I was reading like in some of the comments under the video because the young lady, she had her hair done, I guess bundles they said and her nails were done and some people were like well you better take them bundles out your hair or them nails and pay for some food and stuff like that now you can look at that two different ways one some people don't have their priorities together and some people like they'll go and get their hair done and their nails done and stuff like that and not have enough food or not have enough money for their bills and stuff like that. Or if they were neglecting the children in any way, that part is wrong. But why do we as women, especially black women, have to look like what we're going through like if we're having a hard time why do we have to look like we're having a hard time like um she might not get her hair done all the time that could be one instance where she might have had her hair done and her nails done does she not deserve to feel good about herself every once in a while? Does she deserve not to be treated, you know, treat herself every once in a while? Um, I don't feel that's right. I don't feel like anyone should judge her by that, saying, oh, she got them bundles. She need to take them bundles out and go get, you know, those kids some food. That's not the case all the time, you know? And um, I wanted to say something else, like um, another thing, like some people feel like um, if you're on food stamps or something like that, like <clears throat> you shouldn't be out there buying steak or um, crab legs or something, you know, like that. And it's like, that's hard because somebody that goes without for so long, you know, when they do get the money or they do get them food stamps, they're gonna wanna like treat themselves or treat the the kids and stuff like that. You know why? Because they're on food stamps, they don't deserve to eat steak every once in a while or seafood every once in a while, you know, and um, think women 
get such a bad break another day like deciding what um they should spend their child support checks on you know or the money that's on that child support debit card like um saying um child support shouldn't be used to pay light bill or rent or whatever why the hell not why shouldn't it be used to pay that don't that child live there you know what i'm saying you could have taken care of that child's needs that whole month and then when they decide to send the child support maybe the damn rent is due maybe the lights is due. you don't want them sitting in the dark you know so in this instance i'm not gonna say that she was all the way right for exposing him not even exposing i won't say she was completely a hundred percent um right for doing what she did i mean he does have a choice he has rights and he you know he's not responsible for the rest of her children you know but just like morally that goes to show you um girls like y'all really need to be careful who you're having these children by you know some of you have children with guys yeah y'all break up before that child is even born you know what i'm saying and it's because you know nothing about them not saying that if you do know them things would be you know all that much better you know what i'm saying because some marriages break up you know i waited until i was married to have children and my ex-husband left like when my son was like one or something like that so no not everything works out but at least you stand a better chance like you just can't be out here having kids from everyone you know what i'm saying you want to at least have um know who you're having children with you know um I could honestly say that um, with my second husband, if that was the situation, like he would not want to see any children, you know, going hungry or anything like that, you know, no matter if they were his or not. Um, my second husband took care of my children like they were his, both of my children, you know, um, that were from my first husband. So y'all just want to be a little bit more selective on who you're out here having these children's with, children with. Um, somebody made another point, like she's unable to take care of one and two, but now you have five and you're out here unable to feed them. So I feel them on that too. You know what I mean? Like, if you're having problems providing for one and two or three children, why on God's green earth would you continue to have children and with different men, you know? But that's a <laughs> another conversation for another time, y'all. But I just wanted y'all opinion on that. Do you feel that it was wrong for the young man to show up with food for only his child, knowing that the rest were hungry? And was the mother wrong for putting him on blast and recording him pulling up with just one happy meal? Sorry, y'all, if y'all hear that music in the background, my neighbor is playing the blues his damn wife done left him and if it's true good for his ass he came home for work and her ass 
went back to Jersey. Yeah, they from Jersey too, our neighbors downstairs. So he, I guess she's been gone. I don't know, for about a week or so now. So now he down there playing the blues, y'all. So hopefully y'all can hear that music in the background. But make sure y'all comment and let me know your thoughts on this matter. Make sure y'all follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And I want to thank you all for stopping by, Alisa, doing it my way. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.